Okay, here's the the three books I have. I don't I don't use them so much anymore. It's easier to actually go to the website to look at stuff. But just to give you perspective, I I find this interesting. Sorry, <laughs> but this is uh, Eastern Butterflies, and if you look, um, just to give you an idea. Okay, here here's pretty much where the the plates start. Okay, and that only goes to right about, okay, yeah. You know, this is it. This is all the pictures of the butterflies for the eastern United States. It's just the one book. Okay, here is southeastern North America, and here is northeastern North America. And the books are basically the same, but if you look, the moths start, start right there and it goes to all the way to pretty much right there. That's as compared to the butterfly book. It's thicker than the butter. It's just as thick as the butterfly book. And this is just the northeastern United States. The southeastern is pretty much the same way. It starts, you know, way up there and goes pretty much all the way to the back of the book. So, you know, to up in there. So again, it's, you know, here's the Eastern United States, the whole book. It's actually, it almost looks thicker than the Eastern United States butterflies, but it's just to show you the difference between moths and butterflies. And ironically, a lot of the moths are fine or not even listed in uh, either the two books. They're, because they're, you know, unfortunately, they're um, invasive species. They're from Japan or China or whatever like that. That they, they, you know, because of the way that the economy works, or not the economy, but the way we ship stuff around the world now, the world's gotten smaller. So um, it was inevitable that something like that was going to happen. So thank you.